The average American farmer is a 57-year-old man who works about 450 acres. Annie D is a farmer, but there's not much average about her. We have 10,000 acres. We're in Alabama and Mississippi. We have cattle and we use horses to work our cattle. We have row crops, corn, soybeans, wheat, rye. We've raised sunflowers and canola. Uh, we'll try a lot of different things. Annie joined the family farm right after graduating from college and today runs the day-to-day -day operations of D River Ranch. She says she used to get some funny looks when attending crop production meetings in a room full of men, but not anymore. I often am the only woman at some of these meetings, but I'm a serious farmer and I'm serious in agriculture and they realize that after a while. They get, they get beyond just like, oh, what's she doing here and realize that this is my life and I do know a lot about it and I've made a life for myself, my children, my family. D River Ranch is a very diversified operation, so it takes everything working together to make it successful. Annie says soybeans play a key role in their crop rotation. Soybeans are one of our main products that we're producing here. Um, we produce soybeans maybe about 2,000 acres a year. We planted wheat this year and had real good success with it. And we planted soybeans behind the wheat planted. We planted some early in April and then we planted some uh, when we harvested the wheat, which was right at the end of May and the first of June. But they're very important. We're counting on them. Working a farm this large, Annie says water is one of her family's primary concerns. She and her brother Mike have added irrigation and a new reservoir to hold on to as much water as possible. But they've also implemented conservation measures such as farming the land year-round to make it more productive. What we do with those cover crops, that's helping to build the organic matter. It helps to preserve the moisture uh, when we do have the shortages of water that the organic matter helps the soil maintain the moisture, whatever moisture we get throughout the growing season. It also helps to keep the weeds down. We keep a cover crop on there if we have a big rain so the soil itself doesn't wash away and those cover crops also help build up our fertility. Annie says her goal is to leave D River Ranch to her sons and future generations in better condition than when she joined the farm. But ultimately, she says there's only so much that she can do. We've worked for years now building the fertility on our soil with adding fertilizer and cover crops and trying to build the organic matter. But we have to trust year after year that the Lord's going to provide what we need. Even if we build up everything that we can and do everything right and work hard and work hard as we can and then a little harder, we have to know that the Lord's going to provide for us, and he always does. In Pickens County, Alabama. This is Kevin Worthington for Time Well Spent.